Sisteron is one of the most recognizable Provençal villages. It is positioned on the rocky hills on the side of the Durance River. The north of Provence, around Sisteron, is famous for its slum and aromatic Provençal herbs. It's too organic. Yes, yeah, yeah, completely, completely. It is a very sensual experience to visit the garden of Jan Iglesse, the master chef of the hotel restaurant La Bonne Etape in Chateau Arnoux. This is Ariette. Well, uh, if I had to keep only one herb in Provence, that would be this one. I am here to discover Gianni's famous cuisine. My cooking, Gabriel, is uh, very uh, scented and uh, it's uh, like uh, when you walk in uh, hills, uh, you smell the thyme, rosemary, uh, sarriette, and uh, uh, this is uh, the, what I use the most in uh, my kitchen. It's uh, part of my accent, it's a part of my uh, culture and uh, I try to share it in the plates, in uh, uh, all the things I prepare with the lamb, with uh, all the nice products we have here. Can you say a few words about uh, the lamb of Sisteron? The lamb of Sisteron, well, uh, it's very tender and the breed is very small and it concentrates uh, in uh, its flesh all the flavors of the uh, surroundings, uh, like uh, the uh, rosemary, the sarriette, the thyme. In the kitchen, Gianni loves sharing his special knowledge with his chefs and students. Naturally, lamb is the most popular dish on his menu. He carefully selects and prepares his favorite cuts. Dry herbs from his garden and the local hills are rubbed on the meat before cooking it in a pan in local olive oil and then roasting it in a very hot oven for a short time. It is garnished with some seasonal vegetables from his garden and served with a light herb jus. It is a great gourmet experience. This delicate dish of lamb with olives and capsicum is a great Provençal dish. First, I cook three different colors of sliced capsicum until soft. I stir in a handful of spinach leaves, I season with garlic, salt, pepper, and a few pitted olives. I make a small incision lengthwise into the center of two loins of lamb and fill each pocket with a little of the vegetable mix. Next, I season the meat with olive oil, cracked pepper and finely cut thyme, then cook it in a hot pan. I am going to be very careful not to overcook the lamb. I want it pink, so I will let it rest before slicing it. I transfer the cooked lamb onto a plate to rest and reheat the vegetables in the same fry pan. I cut each loin into three pieces and place the lamb on top of the vegetables. I like to garnish this filet d'agneau roti aux olives et poivrons with a few sprigs of thyme. On Saturday morning, the farmer's market of Sisteron is a feast to the eye. Jani visits an organic grower to get a few green salad leaves. I would love to taste all of those farmhouse goat cheeses. For us chefs, markets are like toy shops. We get motivated from these visits. I love Provence. Tomorrow I am in the Languedoc Roussillon to taste the specialties of the amazing citadel of Carcassonne.